In 2003, this story of Justine Vandershoot tragically shook Placer County to its core. On Labor Day, 17-year-old Justine Vandershoot disappeared. Justine Vandershoot had her whole life ahead of her. She was described by those who loved her as a young woman sure of herself and what she wanted in life. Justine was a very special young woman destined for success a beloved daughter, granddaughter, sister, and friend. When Justine met Daniel Bessemer, the relationship began as many teenage romances do. It had the hallmarks of any teenage relationship until Daniel turned jealous. Daniel Bessemer became controlling. He demanded to know where Justine was and with whom she spent her time with. A seemingly innocent and typical teenage relationship had turned into one defined by jealousy and control. On that fateful night in 2003, the evening started like any other evening. Daniel Bessemer and Justine had dinner with her parents before going out. But that night, Daniel and his friend Brandon had a plan to murder Justine. After weeks of searching, Justine's body was found in Applegate, California. Her father remembers Placer County detectives, accompanied by a chaplain, arriving at the family's Christian Valley home at 11 p.m. that evening to deliver the news that no parent ever wants to hear. Their daughter is not coming home. In 2005, Daniel Bessemer was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison, while Brandon Fernandez was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. Justine's beautiful family has turned their pain into purpose. They have set out on a journey to educate our communities on the risks of teen dating violence. The reality? One in 12 high school students will experience teen dating violence. Some of these actions can seem innocent, like someone checking their phone or wanting to know their location. Some of these things can seem normal, but they can potentially be very dangerous. The message, learn the signs. Talk to your loved ones early and often. Check in with them. Empower them to understand these risks and to take action.